friends in my latest two three videos i have shown this aluminium ion batteries using aluminium ion cyano complex so subscribers were asking me how you are able to prepare this and so i thought we will just make a small video on this so i made aluminium chloride by dissolving myself aluminium pieces in concentrated acyl those things i will put in my diagram how much i added and how i prepared the aluminium chloride solution that was nearly 23.5 something percentage aluminium chloride i used to get through that i was able to dissolve 2 grams of aluminium chloride now in 125 ml of distilled water this is my solution a aluminium as aluminium chloride so next one is we need potassium ferricyanide this is potassium ferricyanide potassium ferricyanide this is the color of that potassium ferricyanide this i we have take here how much we have take 2 gram this we need 4.2 grams the details i will put in my diagram okay this is 4.2 grams potassium ferricyanide we'll just transfer into a you have seen it we transferred just add this distilled water or we call it as deionized water so I written here potassium ferricyanide 4.2 grams now in 125 ml distilled water any plastic spoon small spoon everything is okay so it has completely dissolved in this water so what is the next one is I prepared myself 2 grams aluminum chloride the details I will show you in my paper ok I have added to this I am going to add this aluminum chloride solution you will see cyano complex preparation you can keep on a water bath for uh, what you call to make the reaction go fast and the sediment also will be very fast also now you can see the complex has formed some greenish blue complex this is called aluminium ion cyano complex this is takes time to decant, decant. naturally you have to keep it for 2 hours 4 hours no you can see the sediments it will settle down those complex will settle down the upper clear liquid we can throw it out second time you can put another distilled water some 100 ml swirl it again keep it so for 2 hours 4 hours you keep it aside you can see the upper layer water layer that you dig in dig and off and throw it out the remaining will be the cyano complex this we have to sun dry if you are in a laboratory you can do it in air oven that will be fast sun dry takes time so all that i'll show you step by step now Friends, now the aluminium ion cyano complex formed. You are able to see at the bottom, it has settled fine. So the upper layer will just slowly remove it by decanting. This is a simple method. The bottom there is a cyano complex is that aluminium ion cyano complex. So the upper layer I am slowly removing it. So some sediments are now coming ok this again I will add distilled water and keep for again natural decantation it will this is second time I am going to take out the clear upper layer as separate from the bottom layer which is the aluminium iron complex ok So the remaining is the aluminium complex of iron. So this we will slowly dry on a water bath or on sunlight. After drying, I'll show you. Friends, this aluminium complex of excess iron ferrate. So which was here, you no, know, I decanted using filter papers and dried it. This is what the quantity I able to get it. You are able to visualize. I shall able to see 
able to see uh, this is what I got this is called aluminium iron cyano complex okay friends this is what I obtained after filtering and drying in hot air able to see small quantities because 2 grams was from 2 grams you are able to get only this complex this is aluminium iron com cyano complex okay similarly in the previous in my for my own interest no I have prepared nickel nickel hexa cyano ferret you can see it color this is dark green it is this is called nickel hexa cyano ferret similarly manganese hexa cyano ferret I prepared this is more brown in color able to see it manganese hexa cyano ferret similarly I have prepared zinc hexa cyano ferret more green in color zinc hexa cyano ferret all these are useful nowadays for aluminum iron batteries you now this complexes when you add with MnO2 in the positive side they give very good rechargeable cycles and ch charging capacity also increases plus the corrosion of aluminum electrode is very very less compared to this aluminum with alkali cell reaction this is a mixture of aluminum manganese and zinc dominating is manganese here more green dark green it is so all these combinations I have done to prepare aluminum ion batteries ok friends so the last one is the aluminum ion cyano complex ok so if you like this video you can click the like button you can comment you can share with your friends you can subscribe my channel thank you